Welcome back, guys, and today we are on the console version of SnowRunner on the Xbox Series X. Now, what you are looking at right now is my mod browser screen because I have it basically entirely maxed out right now. Now, on my storage front, I have that almost completely maxed out, and on my RAM front, I have that fully maxed out. Like, literally, at this point, I can't enable any other mods. But, before we jump into the video, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys everything that I actually have enabled here to get get to the memory cap on the Xbox Series X, and I would love to hear from you guys down in the comment section below what your combinations of mods look like. So, with that being said, we got the GGMS Money Trucks, we got the Mega Cab Runner, and we've got four both turned on. We got Red's Goose next, we got Rock Runner's Mud Park, we got a couple of different maps, we got a Highway Hauling, we got the Mega Bus, we got the Yeet Mobile, um, we've got the Super 6 Dually, we've got a few more maps, we've got some uh, some tools like the GGMS uh, Bubble Dar, and I can probably, like, I, honestly, I could probably turn on some of these other maps. We've got the Titanium on as well as the uh, the LARC Bertha. We've got a couple of other maps, and then we go to page three, and we have the Poseidon. We have the IXRC Monster. We got Bubba Up's Mega Truck. We got uh, Max Mike's RC Quad Pack, and a couple of maps thrown in there as well. And for whatever reason, it says we have a fourth page, but there's no fourth page. But with that done and out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into our upcoming adventure. Now, for this video, I've decided to make my way out to West Georgia Mud Park. Number one reason being that I haven't actually been to West Georgia Mud Park in quite a while. And the next reason being simply because of the fact that West Georgia Mud Park is a great map for pushing the limits of what is possible with console mods. Now, this is going to be a combination mud rig and tow rig. That's why it's really, really tall. But we've also put the gooseneck hitch in it. We've put the, uh, we put the front weight on it. We put the tow spin like engine in it and everything like that so this thing is going to be good to go and the last time I was out here which was quite a while ago on console I believe we were also in the mindset of attempting to push the uh push the console mods to the limit there as well now whoa all right so with that much power and that much pace, yeah, this thing is going to be perfect for what we're doing today. We also have the Cheater Spec tires on, which I don't normally use. I very rarely use the Cheater Spec tires because they are so insanely powerful. But I felt like, you know, for this particular day and for this particular setup... I really felt like it fit the approach of what we were going for. Also, I went with the max smoke level on the stacks just to see if, you know, all of that smoke plus a bunch of, like, really heavily detailed trucks, I really wanted to see if it would actually lag the Xbox Series X, but I don't think it's going to. I really don't. So let's go ahead and shut that thing down, and now we're going to start bringing some of the other rigs out of the garage that we're going to be hauling to... Um, not only to the mud, but to some of the other obstacles on the map. So let's go back. There it is. Heavy duty. Come on, Thor. So this is going to be probably one of the craziest, if not the craziest truck that we're going to be able to drive today. Now, the four-speed transmission is, as Diesel claims, experimental for use at your own risk. And he means it. And when I say that he means it, Bro, he means it very, very, very heavily. So we're going to grab the 57-inch military tire, which Diesel has dubbed the unstoppable military-grade option. And, you know, when Diesel says something is unstoppable, you better believe him. Because uh, if you don't believe him, well, it's not going to go very well for you. Now, let's go ahead and grab a... Should we do the rear bumper? We might as well. We'll do the rear bumper. We'll do the, we'll do the taillights. And let's see, custom snorkel, and I'm definitely going to do, let's see, should we do the winch bumper or should we do the massive brush guard? I mean, I love the massive brush guard, but I think the winch bumper is going to better suit what we're doing here. So we don't need the weight because we're not going to be, we're not going to be hauling anything uh, with Thor in this particular video. But let's see, bed trim, pickup bed, grill, headache rack, hood trim, hood, side mounted boxes, eh. We don't need those right now. I will do the traditional bed. Well, no, no, because I have another plan. Um, and then the trim down the side of the truck. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting because we have the option for dozer stacks in the back. We have the dual miter cut stacks. We have the single stack and we have the hood stack. And I'm back and forth on what I want to do. I really like the dozer stacks, but I mean, at the same time, I've never actually run the single stack. The single stack is an interesting option. And I think I'll go with that on this build. 
Now we have the single wheel option, and I think in terms of colors, we've already got the other truck, like, you know, our tow rig painted kind of like a silverish gray, and so I think maybe like a brighter white on Thor would be really cool, but I also think that this truck looks incredible in a bright orange, and I don't know why I have a thing for bright orange on this truck. I just think it works, again, like I said before, really, really well. So we'll put the bobble dar on the dash, and now, well, what the heck are those tree textures? Yeesh! This is a next-gen console. Holy crap. Now, I will say this is not the next-gen version of the game, so do bear that in mind, but still, dang. All right, let me ease this thing up towards the truck, or truck and trailer, I should say. Let's go ahead and get you right up on there. And this thing is, like, near the width limit for Red's gooseneck. Even, like, Red's six-unit gooseneck. This thing is near the width limit, I'll tell you that. All right, so let's go ahead and shut it down. And then now we're going to go back into the garage and grab one more truck, once again, in the spirit of pushing the console version of the game to its allowable limits right now. So... I think we're going to go back in time a little bit and we're going to grab the Yeet Mobile mud truck because this thing has been around for so long now, but really in the same, it's one of the coolest vehicles that I think, you know, I've ever been involved with in this game. So I, I, I love this vehicle. I love everything that was done with it. I love the customization options that you have on it. And we're not going to spend too long going through the customization because I do want to obviously, you know, get out to some of the mud pits. But we're going to go ahead and paint this thing blue. We're going to throw beans on the dash. And then now this thing is also going on the trailer. If you could like not, thank you. Now, granted, I know I put the 1600 horsepower engine in it, but boy, where did you get damage from? I guess I grazed the fence. I'm not going to worry about it. I literally just grazed it. So if if it's going to get mad about that, then ah, don't worry about it. Oh, we have more space on this trailer than I thought. Like legit, we have a lot more space on this trailer than I thought we did. So, so if we have more space, I mean, I feel like we have to use it, right? So let's see. Mods only on, and then let's go over and see if we have anything really, really small. Now, obviously, there's these RCs, there's Megabus. Megabus is not small. Um, we don't really have anything that fits the bill, though, of being, like, like small but not, you know, RC small. So what I'll do then is I will actually move these vehicles around on the trailer. I'll give them a little bit more space. That way they can, you know, kind of breathe a little bit. And then we'll go back into Thor. We'll back him up just a tad stop it right there all right this thing with that four speed transmission and the and the tires that have that much grip uh it tends to be a little bit jumpy and i don't mean that in a bad way it's just kind of one of those things where you got to keep an eye on uh how that vehicle is actually behaving in terms of grip because it is it is pretty gnarly when it comes down to it but look at this setup this setup is wild. Like, this setup is absolutely nuts. Look at that. And this is running on a freaking console. What? Like, dude, what is this game? Like, what is going on? Freaking next-gen console stuff. Like, that is, that is so wild. The six-door and Thor and the Yeet Mobile and Red's trailers. It is just absolutely next level. All right, so what we need to do is, first of all, we need to get out of low range, and now we got to get these things down to a mud bog because it's about time that we saw what they could do. And of course, we're also going to be running the six door. We couldn't do this and not run the six door. It's just not, it's just not possible, at least not in my mind, to bring out a setup that's this capable and then not use one of the coolest trucks of the bunch. Had to go with the dually setup this time. Oh my God. Okay, it bounced off the power pole or rather the light pole. Don't worry about that though. That's fine. That's not something you ever need to worry about. Really, in any instance, I wouldn't think... Let's just not let, let's just not worry about hitting things. And if we hit things on the way there, well, so be it. We've hit them. It's fine. I love this truck though. Really, I know I've been using it a lot lately, both on, you know, console now and then of course PC, but 
It's just, not only was it a truck that, like, I absolutely fell in love with when I first saw it, you know, way back when it was on uh, the Diesel Brothers TV show, but all of the subtle details that John John Hot Rod has put into this truck make it look so good. And of course, you can't forget the horn. It's just so funny. Like, it's literally, it works so well. All right, you guys, let's go on and pull up right down there at the end of the mud pit, and we'll get these rigs unloaded. I think, since the Yeetmobile is on the back, we'll run it first, then we'll run Thor, and then we'll run the Mega Cab, and we'll see how everything works in comparison with each other. I am blown away that the trees are freaking out like that. This is, like I said before, this is a freaking next-gen console. You would think that they would be loaded, but you know what? I guess it's one of those things. All right. Unpack. Ramps down. And hood up so we can, I don't know, you know, just check and make sure that everything is good to go under the hood. Make sure all of our couplers are screwed down nice and tight. Make sure that our coolant is full. We're fine. We're good. All right. Hood back down. And then we can go ahead and shut the engine down. And we can grab the Yeetmobile mud truck and run it through the first mud pit. Now, I don't know how well this is going to go or how far it's going to go. But I think it's time we found out in three... Two, one, floor it! Come on! Oh, wow, that didn't make it very far. That did- wow. Um, I did not think that it was gonna- I mean, I figured it would go a little farther than that, but I didn't think it was gonna get stuck that quick. That's really quick for it to get, you know, slowed down. And, and that slowed it down, like, a massive amount, too. Now, it's probably got something to do with the fact that I drove it right into the middle, but, dad, ah, don't worry about that. It's fine. Wow, even low plus is, like, not even remotely a thing. It is not even remotely interested in low plus. That is, that is gnarly. That's absolutely wild for this thing to be in mud that's this, you know, I wouldn't say this shallow, but it's, like, it's not super shallow, but it's shallow enough, and, like, the tires are just like, yeah, nah, I'm not interested, bud. You, you can, uh, you can take that right back home with you. Oh, there we go. Once the mud got a little bit shallower, high gear was good to go. All right, let me move you out of the way because I know that when we run Thor, things are going to get ridiculous. Things are going to get absolutely nuts, and they're going to get nuts fast. Oh, boy. This truck, though, dude. Like, using this truck on a console is just such a next-level thing. I mean, look at the interior. The interior, the body, the bed, all the customization options. It is one of the most next-level trucks that I've ever seen, and especially to be a Chevy from this generation, such a cool rig. All right. Three, two, one, full send. This is high range with the four-speed. It spins a bit. But I think, I mean, it's actually doing really well, though, when you put it in automatic with the four-speed. That's about, like, half throttle. Well, now we're full throttle, because it's not carrying anymore. And, oh, I've tried to go back to high, but it started to build up the wheel speed too high. Really? Really? Is high range in the four-speed just too fast for that? Because, whoa! Oh, my God! I wanted to see what would happen if I... <laughs> Put it in high! And, uh, oh, 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 God! Whoa! Jeez! So that tree was like, yeah, nah, dude, you're, uh, I'm not interested in your, uh, in, 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 in your crap right now. Right, so, um, high range in Thor is insane. And then now, we have the Mega Cab Runner, no rear steer. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this into the mud as well. I think this thing deserves to be a part of this party. So, let's go ahead and raise the suspension up for maximum clearance. Keep in mind, we are running the extra weight and we are running the hauling transmission. So, that could have an effect on what we're about to do here. But, three, two, one. Still going to send it. Let's go. Dude! What? Oh my, wow! What did this thing just do? That is an insane level of capability. All right, hold on. Before we finish this test, because this did so well right there, there is one more thing that I absolutely have to try. Also, before we go any farther, I'm going to go ahead and activate the radar because I think it's the coolest little thing ever. 
got your little six-door Dodge that comes out of the dash, you know, your little mountain, your satellite dish. It's all there. God, I love it so much. You got your freaking uh, backup cameras, your side view cameras. It is literally all there. There's, there's no element of that that is not all there. All right, let's make our way down to one of the gnarliest mud lanes on this entire map. And get ready to... You know what? I'm not even going to stop. I'm going to go out on a full send right out of the gate. Come on! Oh my... Dude. I haven't lifted yet. I am full throttle and I have been for... Oh god. Almost flipped her there. This is insane. And okay, it just now starts to dig. That is a wild, wild, wild amount of like capability in the mud. And especially for something that's got a hauling setup on it, dude, I'm, I'm sure it's got a lot to do with the fact that I went with the top spec tires, but even then, you have got to, like, you have got to respect the level of capability that this truck brings to the table with that. Holy smokes, that is so crazy. That is, like, the gnarliest freaking thing I've ever seen a truck do in that mud pit. That's right up there with what I've seen, like, you know, Monstrosity, Monster Max, Monster Max 2 do in that pit. That is absolutely insane. But if you guys enjoyed this video on the console version of Star Runner, make sure you let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.